What's going on guys? This is The Fit Barber and welcome to my hairline repair video. In this video we're going to be doing a shave down technique. I like creating my own fibers and it lasts about two weeks. As you can see here, his hair has receded back a little bit. I'm going to use that technique to see if I can't get that hairline back where I want it. And this shave down technique is perfect for guys that's not ready to do those full units yet. Still make you a little nervous. This will be perfect for you guys. First, I want to start by cleaning the area, and um, I'm going to use Cool Mist in this video, but you can use any astringent or alcohol. It works just fine. Next up, I want to grab my nose sweat, and this helps me um, keep the client from sweating so much around the forehead area, and that's going to extend the lifespan of the unit. And depending on the guy's lifestyle, I ask them how often they um, go to the gym or do their job, allow them to sweat a little more. Um, I may spray two to three coats of no sweat. Next up is a little tip and trick that I use to get that line um, straight. And I like to spray a little spritz on first, and then I want to grab my edges after that spritz dries, and I want to just draw me on the imaginary line with my edges because I know I can get a straight line with my edges because I'm so comfortable with um, the edges more than just trying to draw a straight line with an outliner, and that may help you guys a lot, and it speeds up the process. Next step with that outliner, guys, that imaginary ash line that I drew, it's going to be a lot easier for me to just trace over that to get that line straight with the outliner. Next up is applying the glue. Now I'm going to apply the glue is exactly the same way I would if I was doing a unit. I'm going to do just a little bit behind that line that I drew because I want to concentrate on making sure my hairline is straight and I don't go over that hairline because it's very hard to cut inside the glue. Next up is a little tip and trick for you guys. Um, so that you don't get that glue over that hairline that you drew, I'm going to use one of my business cards, and I'm just going to put it at the bottom of that eyeliner line that I put on. And I'm going to swipe up quickly before the glue dries to make sure that I don't get that glue over that line, and it stays straight. So when I'm applying my shave down, it, take, it makes it a lot easier to edge them up. And remember, guys, with that card, I'm going to make sure that I stay at the bottom of that eyeliner line because that's what I want to be straight. Um, now I'm going to use the corner of the spatula just to start moving some of that glue into his hair. And the areas that I see that still are a little thin or thinning out, I'm going to just spread that around because it's going to help me with the blend of that synthetic hair and his hair. And you only need one coat of glue when you're doing the shave down technique. You don't need two coats. Um, if you want to put two coats, that's fine, but I don't want you to apply too much glue. I only use one coat, and it lasts about two weeks. Now that we got the glue applied, we're going to wait for it to dry a little bit. And this glue dries clear. So when it becomes a little clear, like right here, I am ready to begin my shave down technique. So let's get started guys. Now in my last video, I told you guys to hold on to those extra pieces and I was gonna show you how to make money with them. If you don't remember the last video or you haven't watched it, let me take you down memory lane. So that video is at 2.2 million views and it's all because of you guys, thank you so much. But when I did that man unit, I had extra pieces hanging over I told you guys to hold on to because I was gonna show you how to make extra money. But again, if you're not comfortable with doing the man unit and you're still probably practicing on them or trying to perfect it, this is a technique that you can start using today and start making money. First thing I want to do with the hair is I want to create a flat surface so when I'm doing my shave down, 
it's a lot easier and, and I won't get big uneven chunks falling off. Now I want to hold that hair about four to six inches away from the client's head so that I can monitor how much hair falls down onto the glue. Um, what I want to do is I got my magic clips. I just want to feather that hair um, and just watch it fall onto the glue until I get a, a the amount that I'm looking for so that it can be a perfect blend. So I'm going to let you guys continue to watch as I shave this hair down to get that desired amount of thickness and blend with my magic clips. And I'm not going to speed it up or I'm not going to cut it out. I want you guys to see it actually come together. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Once I start seeing the amount of hair that I'm looking for, I'm going to just softly pat it so that I can make sure that that glue locks in the amount of hair that I'm looking for to perform this hairline repair. Now I'm going to grab my neck duster guys. And I just want to get the extra hair off of his face and the extra hair that's not stuck to the glue off. And I want to see if I have enough hair applied. As you're going to see on this right hand side, once I hit it with the duster, it begins to get a little thin again. And that glue is still a little bit exposed. So I'm going to grab my hair again and I want to fill in that spot. And I want to make sure it's even all the way across so that, it, that, that natural look and that natural effect can be just a little better and again I just want to grab my neck duster and I want to get that extra hair off his face and off the, the hair does not stuck to the glue off the unit and as you can see now I have that preferred amount that I'm looking for next step is easy any barber knows it um, the loose hairs I'm gonna grab my magic clips or you can add grab your edges doesn't matter Whatever one you use, whatever one you're comfortable with. And you just want to take those loose hairs that's sticking up. You want to smooth those out to give it that natural look. After I get those loose hairs smoothed and um, cut down, next thing's up. Spritz. I like to use spritz at the end of every haircut so that I can use my fibers and hold in my fibers just a little longer. And what I want to do is I just want to treat it like any other normal haircut. And I'm just adding my enhancement. Um, what I'm using now is just some topic fibers. And I'm just going to spray along the hairline. And as you can see, the sides, that side line, I want that to be a little bit darker as well so that it can match um, the rest of his hair. All around so I'm going to use a little topic around the sides there too next step I'm just going to grab my edges guys Barbara's no Barbara already know I'm gonna grab my hitters and I'm just gonna make sure I give them a real real crispy line and I'm just gonna take my time guys and just focus on the details you know me I'm gonna give my client more in value than they give me in dollars so I'm gonna take my time and just make sure I got his line straight and crispy. Next up guys, I want to lock in those fibers and that hair that I shaved down with a little gas to be glue. 
Then I want to add a little wig shine to the synthetic hair because I can't spread with regular oil sheen. But I will take my regular oil sheen and spray his hair with it. And we are done. And as you can see, his hairline has been repaired, guys. And the moment we both been waiting for is the results. And to see that smile is priceless, guys. And that's what I do this for. Please go like, subscribe, and share, guys. Until next time, I love you guys. Let's keep making people feel good. Look at that before and after. All right. Y'all be blessed, guys.